Feeling uninspired, finding motivation. As artists, our local community can be a plentiful source of inspiration for creativity. And when you're feeling stuck, a simple walk around your area can help spark ideas. I live in Hespler Village, a unique neighborhood in Cambridge, Ontario. When I first moved here, the area was in rough shape and desolate. Over the last 13 years, the core has completely transformed into a vibrant and social atmosphere. The Riverview and Riverbank Loft projects have been a major contributor to the revitalization of the area. These developments have not only brought new life to the community, but also offered a unique backdrop for my artistic journey. When I got my DSLR camera, I spent time capturing photos of my neighborhood. The sun happened to be in the perfect position, and I managed to capture this riverside view of the area taken from the Jacobs Landing Pavilion back in 2017. At the time, the new Riverview apartment building was still under construction. You can see in the distance that some of the balconies aren't finished. This is also taken before conversion began on the historic century-old mill, hence why the windows are all boarded up. This image became a significant source of inspiration for my artwork. The juxtaposition of the old and the new, the history and the future, all captured in a single frame fueled my creative process. So let me take you through the process of how this photo inspired me to create the silk screen print and how it all came together. I've pulled this image into Photoshop and began blocking out elements. As you've already seen, I started with the hard round pressure size brush tool and picked a few random elements to start with, which I ended up refining later on. I wasn't entirely happy with the result here, so I moved on to a layer I felt more confident with, which was the windows layer. As I worked on the image, I decided that architectural elements will be drawn with the polygonal lasso tool and filled, while natural elements will be drawn with the pen tool using circles of many sizes. I mentioned this photograph was taken back in 2017, and this is not my first attempt at turning this image into a work of art. A while ago, I created this piece, which I previously considered to be unfinished. Honestly, I'm afraid to continue this piece because I don't want to overwork it. Here I've used soft pastel, charcoal, India ink, and metallic acrylics on watercolor paper. However, the more I look at it, the more I appreciate how raw and unfinished parts of this image is. In fact, this approach reinforces and adds to my original observations on the juxtapositions within this scene. So here we are. I've decided to start anew and see what I can do with this photograph once again. This time, I want to create a silk screen print. And in the spirit of October, I want to work only with black.
After blocking out the objects, I converted the grayscale layers into bitmap path tone images. This will break the gray layers into dots in order to simulate tonal variation. But before printing, I made a few readjustments and switched some objects from gray to black because I wanted even more contrast than there already was. I still have room to process another image on my silk screen, so alongside the riverbank lofts, I'm printing out my last project as well, Lulu Leo. I've printed out both images onto transparency film using my inkjet printer. In the dark room, I sandwiched my printouts between the silk screen and a piece of glass. I'm still experimenting with how long these need to process under the UV light, so I've set this to 2 minutes and 20 seconds. While it's difficult to see on camera under the darkroom light, there is a major mark across my entire screen. The silk fabric is stretched across the frame and adhered with aluminum foil tape. Over time and use, the tape will begin to degrade. And this is why it's important to clear all of these bits that come away. While I was coating my screen with emulsion, a piece of this foil was caught in the crosshair. I won't know for sure until I clean this screen with the emulsion remover whether it did any damage to the actual fabric of the screen, but I think it's okay, knock on wood.